Welcome me in, and she fed me lunch, and she told me this story. She said, when I was a little girl, I lived on the banks of the Red River. It winds its way through pastures and valleys, and growing up then was very different from growing up now. You didn't have TV, you didn't have radio, so you had to make your own fun. But if you lived like I did near Lella Todd, then you had it made. I think every neighborhood should have a Lella in it. Now, Miss Lella would play with all of us neighborhood kids. We'd play hopscotch. And she would jump along with us. She was a short, squat little lady, wore glasses, and she giggled all the time. She had a beautiful garden. She loved flowers, and she would take us all outside to help her work it. She took us into the woods, and there she taught us how to hunt for squirrel. Miss Lella was a great shot, and she could skin the hides off those things faster than any man could. <laughs> now, we lived right on the river, so if Lella wanted a fish to eat, she'd go down and get in her little boat, and she'd catch one. Miss Lel, she had a pet girl. She caught it and tamed it. She taught it to talk. She would call and it would land on her shoulder. She also had a pet cat called Kitty Puss. And her husband Claude would sneak at biscuits under the table with the fluffiest butter you ever tasted. It seemed like everyone in our neighborhood just loved Miss Lella. She was at the birth of all seven of my siblings, and when my mother had a child die in childhood, Miss Lella brought her a little bouquet of white flowers. Miss Lella had no children of her own, so she adopted the whole neighborhood. After school, we'd run to her house, and she would feed us snacks. She had a big wood-burning morning stove, and she would pop popcorn, and she'd put little hot cakes right on top of the stove. We would sneak off into the living room because there, on the red velvet couch, were Miss Lowell's instruments, which we were not allowed to touch. <laughs> Lella would take her fiddle on the porch, and she would play for us. by her. 
for the world.